and welcome, it's Deborah from Attic Lane and you're at day 7 of my 12 Cards of Christmas series. I'm sharing as many different techniques and ideas as I can pack into each of these daily videos and if you haven't already, please subscribe to make sure you don't miss anything. Now let's get making with our card for today. I've gathered supplies and a cup of tea to warm us up because it's a bit chilly in the attic today. So these are some of the things I'm going to be using and I will link to everything below the video. I'm starting out with some distress markers and also a spritzer. Uh, this is a Tim Holtz product and you it allows you to spray ink all over your card. You're not limited just to distress uh, ink pens. You can use a range of pens because the holder can be adjusted. I'm blotching colour onto a sheet of white paper. Now I'm going to use some mica spray just to uh, zhuzh it up a little bit. And it doesn't matter that this is blotchy because we're not going to use the whole piece of card. I'm going to select from the card when I use it later on. And part of today's creativity is just having fun and seeing how much texture and colour and depth you can build into a simple sheet of white card. This is an ultra thick embossing powder. This one is from Cosmic Shimmer and I'm adding tiny little flakes of this to my page. You can do this without there being ink on the page as long as you're very careful about how you heat it. So my heat gun is very high and if you see the little grain shooting off the side of your sheet then you know your heat gun is too low and you need to raise it a little and just give the grains time to adhere. I'm adding more colour and I want to even out the colour with a Nouveau mousse and I'm just brushing this over the top of uh, my existing colours on the sheet. I'm adding a different colour of ultra thick embossing powder and if I hold it up to the camera I hope you can see there's texture, there's depth, there's interest all over that sheet of card. So now I'm going to cut it down ready to use on my project. I'm going to use one of these sheets as a backing for my uh, top folding white base card and I'm using a white piece, <laughs> a white piece to cut out the word piece. Um, this is a die from my favourite things. So now I can begin to assemble my card and I'm going to glue the background onto my white top folding card and as I press this down into position I can feel all of the texture under my fingertips, it's lovely. I'm using a piece of acetate to back the word piece I'm going to glue that into position and where there are tiny little bits in between each of those letters I'm going to use little dots of glue to help secure the acetate. I'm going to add back the tiny little pieces from a couple of those letters and to do that I'm going to take two of the letters that I cut out previously when I was doing some experimentation for this card and I'm gluing right in the negative space and then I will take my white little bit and I will glue that into position and then when I lift away the different coloured letters that you can see there they will leave back those tiny little bits in exactly the right position. To add depth I'm going to use some craft foam sheets and I've cut strips. I'm going to add a glue line around the extreme outside border of my word piece and I'm going to glue the strips into position. Then I'm going to glue strips around the word, so I'm, I'm going to be really tight on that word because this is going to be a shaker card and I want to contain the sequins in the centre so that you can see them behind the word piece. I used my stamp block there just to hold down the design and give it time to stick. I've got some beautiful little sequins and I've positioned them in the centre of my card and I've run glue around the outside and I've glued it onto my background. These are three tiny little dies that make a really fabulous sort of star or flower or they can give you any effect you want them to be. And I've cut them in layers. So I've cut the large one from our coloured piece of paper that we made earlier and then cut the middle one from white card and the smallest one again from our handmade piece of paper. I'm going to glue these into position on two of the corners of the card and then my card is complete. I'm going to make sure the card works. Shaky shake, and it does, and it's finished. So I'm going to say thank you very much for watching, thank you for your time. I hope you will join me again tomorrow, and for now I'm going to leave you with some close-ups of today's card, along with a little bit of music. I'll see you soon.